New at 10, Supervisor Who? Sheriff Clark pokes fun at the Milwaukee County Supervisor's name, who called for his ouster. The supervisor is upset four inmates have died in the county lockup since April. He says those deaths happened on Sheriff Clark's watch, and Clark needs to go. Kareen Zell talked to that supervisor and is outside the jail tonight with more Kareen. He says something is not going on right here, and he believes the sheriff is unfit to run the jail. First and foremost, I'm calling for the resignation of Sheriff David Clark Jr. Milwaukee County Supervisor Supreme Moore Amakunde says it's unacceptable. Sheriff Clark hasn't explained why four people have died in jail over a six month period. We need to know answers. We need to know why. Why are people dying in our jails? The sheriff responded this way Supervisor, who? That sounds like some character in a science fiction comic book. And he's upset that I helped Donald J. Trump get elected president of the United States. I want to stay away from personalities as much as possible. This is about doing one's job. If he doesn't want to be sheriff anymore, he can resign. Terrell Thomas is one of the four inmates who died in his cell this year. The medical examiner's office ruled his death a homicide caused by dehydration. Thomas's father, who did not want his face on camera, wants someone held accountable. Well, yeah, if they denied him waters, yeah. It have to be the workers. Somebody have to be responsible for that, you know. So if the sheriff has to, you know, you know, he should. The attorney for the Thomas family agrees Sheriff Clark should step aside. It raises various serious concerns about why there is such a lack of leadership and responsibility at this jail. The Journal Sentinel is reporting that the sheriff has threatened the medical examiner about information they released to the public about those deaths. Reporting live outside the Milwaukee County Jail, Corrine Zelt, today's TMJ4. Corrine, thank you very much.